Oh yeah. So as you guys can see, it is uh, it's pancake time here in Escalante. I think is where we're still at. We're like right on the edge of Bryce and Escalante. Um, we're up and about. The sun comes up a lot later here than what we're used to. Um, it's uh, I don't know. It's almost. Well, let's see. It is yeah 8:30. And there's still a lot of color in the sky from the sunrise. Um, so the wife is sitting by the fire. We've got a little bit shorter day today. If we're going to make it to Alstrom Point, it's only, I think, three and a half hours or so from here. But we're going to make a Walmart trip, uh, maybe stop by Horseshoe Canyon, a few things like that. So a little bit shorter of a day, but we're uh, enjoying a nice fire, fixing pancakes, and uh, just getting our day started so I had to get up a few times last night um, our little buddy heater we run off of a big 20 pound propane bottle and last two nights it started whistling the pilot light is whistling and it's super annoying um, Sarah can sleep through it sometimes I struggle with sleeping through it it's driving me insane so I did a little bit of reading this morning and I guess the hoses that connect the propane bottle to the heater have a plasticine in them. It's like an oil and it gets uh, caught up inside the little buddy heater and can kind of clog it up causing it to whistle. So I got the instructions on how to disassemble the whole thing, try and soak the offending piece in alcohol and um, maybe fix it. I guess uh, the company sells an oil filter that we need to pick up and a special hose that um, has no oil in it as well. So we may end up picking those up, but people are saying that even with those, it still clogs up after a while. We've had this one probably a year and a half, two years. Um, the other option I think is I'm going to grab some uh, a canister of spray air and see if I can blow it out. Denied. Sloppy or yeah, okay. It's, it's 
this one right over here is the worst one last Sunday, so. Nice. Fair warning. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're, we're from Tennessee and on our way to, uh, I guess, Big Water is our next stop. We drove to Vegas and are working our way all the way across Utah, across these kind of off-road trails, so yeah. it's all new to us. Yeah, and that's, that's like if anybody can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate the warning. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Have a good one. All right, windows up for that. Yeah, that's something fun. Uh, no wonder the truck looks so dirty when he was exiting. Yeah. Not that one. Yeah, so. I know what you mean. So we just finished up Cottonwood Road. Um, apparently it's rained recently because it was super muddy. Um, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's the truck. It's a little muddy. We had some fun. It's a 46 mile, yeah, she had some fun. Someone was driving. Um, 46 mile road. It's supposedly passable in two wheel drive unless wet it was very wet um yeah we had a lot of road washouts we had to cross a lot of mud some pretty good stretches 40 plus foot of mud um it was it was entertaining but we got to see grosvenor's arch which was really pretty and the cottonwood narrows which were amazing um i wish i would have gotten more video on the trail but uh, everything was covered in mud all of our windows and stuff and we didn't really want to stop um anyway I'll show you around the truck. So the only damage that we were able to find is this. We're gonna run down to a car wash, kind of spray it off a little bit, and then I'll use some zip ties and we'll be good to go.
You know, I don't think I've ever been so excited to get to camp. It's not that it had been a really long day. We got into camp pretty early for most of our camping trips. But I have been wanting to check out Alstrom Point for years. It's been on the top of my to-do list for what feels like forever. I was so excited when I got to camp that I jumped out and took a bunch of pictures. Like this one. And like this one. And even like this one. Unfortunately, what I did not do was take any video. I mean, I had my camera, obviously, and I had my drone, and I had everything I needed to take some really cool video, but I forgot. I was so excited to check out the campsite, and then we sat by the fire and relaxed, and I just didn't take any video. For those of you that have been awesome enough to follow along on this video series, I know it feels like it's been forever since I've put out a video. And uh, unfortunately, you're right. It has been a while. I basically had the video you're watching now finished. And I started looking at the footage for the next video and kind of fell into a slump. I realized that over the next couple days, my wife was really feeling pretty sick and she got to the point of throwing up over the next couple days on this trip so I drove a lot which means I didn't film a lot and so there's a lot of GoPro footage of some really pretty areas and uh, the next morning starts off a little interesting getting stuck in mud for two and a half hours there's a lot of story left to tell but not a lot of video left to tell it and I'm just I'm going to do my best to try and share the story with you guys, but just be patient with me.